I went, I went to Russia and all I got me was a stupid hat. Ain't any right. And then I got to learn about death while I was over there. I was drinking some vodka. They got some deadly vodka. And the Russian Viper. Vlad. The Impaler. <laughs> he is. He really is. That guy, he cut the world a new one. And he making Russia the sphincter. Did you know? That means that they is the new voted assholes of the world if they're going to keep following that guy. Because Donald Trump say the world needs a good weapon against that kind of guy. Psychological attack. So this is what this is. Because I is the new Tokyo Rose. Don't you know? I got so tired of talking about putrid Putin. I spit out my teeth and it make me mad because you know why because nobody listening to that guy he the roaring lion is on and you know it's all about mickey and many they say it's true that this world has been a festering fear tears and fear too long perfect love can cast out all fear and that is what the name of jesus is his is the perfect name of love. Every knee going to bow down to that name. Every tongue going to confess that name. Because those who love is born of God and know God because God is love. But that ain't Putin, Putin no. Because that guy, he cut the world a new one. And it is foretold that the great ferocious uh, Kodiak is going to come out there uh, with in between his teeth. Because he got big sharp things. He's got. Uh, three ribs stuck in between his teeth, and he's chomping down on those bones. Daniel 5, uh, verse 7, and it say that uh, those bones is Crimea and the other two territories that he just stole. That's what those bones is. And then the bear hear, hears the voice, and the voice say, Okay, dinner time. Go and eat all the flesh you like. Have your fill now, Mr. Big uh, uh, Grizzly Kodiak with the foaming mouth with the rabies. So that's what's going to happen. And it is the Putin story for sure. I know that because it say in Daniel 11, verse 6, that this would happen in the latter days, you know. Latter days. That is this. That is this. And in those latter days, from Persia, would it come? And that's where Ukraine and Russia was, the bedroom community of Persia, you know. And the fifth, uh, the fifth uh, czar would do it, according to prophecy, according to Rasputin. And Rasputin, 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 he got prophecy that say, Russia's going to be just a graveyard. And that the, the cat uh, of, of abomination going to chase the rats until they believe the word of God. That so much death going to happen that they're going to be seven, uh, seven women for one guy. And Rasputin kind of liked that idea. He was a horny guy, I think. And but he was kind of like Muhammad, you know. Just but that was then. This is now, and it don't matter anyway because the Bible say there is no good man, no, not even one. Everybody forget that. Everybody just full of shit. Everybody don't even want nothing about, know about no prophecy now. But the Bible say that unless uh, these days cut short, uh, no flesh going to survive. No way to cut the Bible uh, time short except by prophecy. Because if you believe in prophecy, why go there? Because at the end of the day, if, if uh, Putin see his prophecy, if he believe it, then it shows him being cast into hell in the book of Revelation as the beast who has been revealed as the bringer of the bear that is hungry and wants to eat the world. Hey, he, didn't you hear? He already threatened, and who was it today? Oh, Denmark today, Finland and Sweden yesterday. And uh, he's threatening, oh, second level uh, nuclear. But the problem is, it's foretold he will use those rockets. And it's saying, Zachariah, that their eyes, are going to consume away in their socket and their tongue. They're well, going to consume away in the mouth and the flesh. Going to consume away uh, before their body even have a chance to hit the, the asses on the ground.
and that is nuclear war told from 3,000 years ago before any atomic fusion was ever even known. Pretty good. But uh, Rasputin is the only guy that can reach Russia because they know he was that blame accurate. They know he predicted not only when and how uh, it would happen, but that he would die and that they would die, his whole family, exactly as he said. And he had a lot of other prophecies that all came true, you know, most of them, lots of them. And, you know, say what you will about the man, but Russell was raised knowing all about Rasputin now. But guess what? Uh, his name has been infamous because everybody forgot that there is no good man. And because it became infamous, dust has just covered all the words of Rasputin from his book, Pious Thoughts, of which I am producing all of it. And I'm so privileged, because that guy was a genius. He was inspired of love. And if he was inspired of love and people realize that, that's going to bring the shattering of the power of the holy people, Daniel 12.7, because God's word is only closed till the time of the end, Daniel 12.9, say so. Why? Because I am the latter-day Daniel or Daniel 12, 13, who is embracing my destiny as the alcoholic. I'm the guy in the Genesis 49, 12, Liza is called Shiloh over there, uh, who has eyes red and dull of wine. That wasn't Jesus. He made water in the wine, though, but he, he didn't, wasn't suffering the consequences, you know what I mean. And I'm the guy, the alcoholic, Zechariah 3, who uh, writes the flying scroll, Zechariah 5, the flying scroll, which is the everlasting gospel, literal. Um, uh, that's why I got 8,000 videos. <laughs> Nobody want to listen to them. See, uh, I'm another Noah, don't you know? Because Noah worked a long time for uh, building an ark for nobody that wanted a ride. And I spent a long time writing the only way out of this big World War III mess, but nobody want to hear it. And if they reject, uh, they're totally apostate. They're spitting out their own book, and they don't even care what's written in their own book, and don't even want to know. I've been talking to some people, they, they don't want to know about none of it. They don't care, they don't know, they don't wear no underwear, their underwear, their uh, elevator not going to the top, anyway. So it's time that we get with the program and change. Because the Lord say that we must be our sword into the sickle. If we're not willing to change, we gotta, we're gotta. we going to have uh, bigger, deeper boots. Our boots aren't deep enough for the kind of shit God has. Because he say, if you won't listen to my messenger, he say, I'm going to take the shit from your dung, from your rotten feet, and I'm going to rub it in your face with Malachi 2-3. Because that's the only thing that will get people's attention so that they will hear the preparation of his peace so that we can all stand still and see the salvation of love. They don't want to hear that garbage. They say, kill, kill, kill. Can you say, row, row, row your boat backwards? Can you? you? ever feel like going around the maypole again, even though you've been around a hundred times and you know it's going to be the same with you? Is some things just stupid to do? You got a brain or you got an ass or you're sitting on the, which one? I don't know. But unless you, these are videos, unless these spiritual weapons go out towards Russia, and I hope I have imitators taking all of my material now, take it all and spit it back out at Russia, Spit out your dentures too at them. Let's all make the googly eye effect at them. Let's all give them the opportunity to be special now. They can stand on the shoulders of whoever they want. And they can look through Galileo's telescope. But a lot of them don't want to because they're afraid that if they look through the lens, they're going to discover that the world really ain't flat. And that prophecy was never really told to tell the future, but to change it. And then... Then, then they would have to start paying attention to a fool who has been chosen to confound the wise, as this alcoholic has, because it is written of me that the just will live by my faith, and by the faith of Gregory Rasputin, or this world will become a toilet, I guarantee you, and then ignorance shall become the gravestone of us all. Don't light no candle of hope on that one now. I don't like the way that one sounds. So let's get with the right, real understanding that God wants us to change. That's why the trial of all flesh, COVID, has come to bring God's word and patience to keep us from the hour of the temptation not to change. We have to change. 
we don't change. Well, none of us gonna make it. Nope, nope, nope.